A young seal is spotted in trouble. Not every seal can be rescued, but this one can be helped. But the only way down to this inaccessible cove is to abseil down the cliff. There's a lot of factors we have to take into consideration, the prime one actually being human safety. But we need to be able to get to the seal before it gets to the sea. And we can't really help adults because it requires too many of us abseiling down the cliff. So we have to make a lot of judgments and follow protocols about whether we can or can't rescue them. Got it, got it, got it. Catching a seal, though, isn't straightforward. A towel is the best way, and it keeps its sharp teeth at bay. The towel is the best uh, tool in our kit, really, for doing this sort of thing. We can wrap the seal's head with a towel to keep the mouth closed so it's not able to bite us. We can keep control of the head, and also having the eyes covered helps to keep it a little calmer as well. And that's what you can see tomorrow doing the video. Once caught, they can see the monofilament, a nylon thread from a net, wrapped well and truly around its neck, cutting into its flesh. If it's left, as he gets bigger, it will kill him. It's benign to start with, but the monofilament is actually a bit like a cheese wire. So even as the animal moves, it starts to cut into the neck. Uh, and then over time, as the seal grows, of course, it just doesn't get any bigger. And it just cuts a laceration, a deep laceration around the animal. But they have the tools to help him. This special knife can cut safely through the filament without injuring him further. We try to identify the place where it's easiest for us to get to to cut rather than trying to put a knife right down into the wound. So it's usually around the sides or on the throat is usually the best as the net usually is least cut in there. So it's easier for us to pull out and get the knife underneath. But there's still the risk of infection, so hair is cut away from the wound and it's washed out and sprayed with antiseptic. As you can see from this video, rescuing a seal takes specialist skills. So the advice is if you see a seal in trouble, don't get too close because you might stress it out and don't attempt to do anything yourself because seals can be dangerous animals. Call the experts. The salt water should help the wound heal quickly and as the seal races back into the sea, the rescue team are confident it will survive.